Standard 5th, Subject EVS 1, Chapter 13, Methods of Preserving Food. Dear students, we need wheat, rice, pulses, etc. throughout the year. But their crops get ready only at certain times of the year. In order to have the grain available throughout the year, one season's crop must be stored and protected till the next season. Different foodstuffs are produced in different places. They have to be made available in good condition to people at long distances. For example, it must be ensured that eggs, milk and milk products remain in good condition during transport from the dairy or poultry farm till they reach their users. Different fruits and vegetables are available in abundance in different seasons. They also taste their best in that season. To prevent these large quantities of fruit and vegetables from getting spoiled and to enjoy them all year round, we make efforts to preserve them. Various kinds of papads, jams and pickles, onions, fish and masalas are prepared and preserved for the whole year in many homes. Nowadays, we can buy such ready products in the market too. To avoid having to go to the market, for provisions again and again, we store what we need for several days in a house. If the food prepared for one meal is not finished, then we use certain methods of keeping it from spoiling in order to have it again the next time or the next day. So usually we keep it refrigerated and we warm it the next day and use it again. Can you tell? Talk to the elderly people in your family to find the answers to the following questions with reference to the foodstuffs mentioned below. Milk, vegetables, grains, flours, sugar, jaggery. So let's have a look at a few questions. When do we say that the foodstuff is spoiled? So, so, for this, signs of food spoilage may include an appearance different from the food in its fresh form. Like you see in the picture here, carrots, usually when they are fresh, they appear plain orange. And now, you can see black marks on it, which indicates that the carrots are getting spoiled. What change are seen in it? So a change in color or texture as you see in the picture. You might also get an unpleasant odor or smell okay, or an undesirable taste. If accidentally you tend to eat a food stuff that has been spoiled, you will immediately come to know by the taste and you will spit it out. So these are the some signs of food spoilage. The second question is, is the time in which foodstuff gets spoiled different in different seasons? Yes, you will observe that food spoils more readily in summer. Now why does this happen? It happens because of the increase in temperature which causes bacteria to multiply. So mostly we keep the food in the refrigerator to avoid it from getting spoiled. So in summer the food gets spoiled quickly as compared to winter season. So the time or the duration in which the food gets spoiled for example milk is different for different seasons. Third question which food stuff spoil most quickly? Uncooked food if kept raw for long time or even cooked food kept outside for longer duration can get spoiled 
the food stuff which have fats spoil most quickly because moisture and other organisms spoil them and also the oxygen from the air reacts with it for example milk milk you cannot keep outside for long time and if re refrigerated also you have to use it within the given span of time what measures are taken to keep the food stuff in the house in good condition for long as long as possible so in the house we take several uh, measures to store our food food stuffs are stored sometimes in airtight containers to keep them fresh for longer period of time some food stuffs are also refrigerated so in this way we make arrangements to keep the food stuff in a house in good condition for a longer period of time if we know the reasons why food stuffs go bad we would know what to do to keep them from spoiling so from the information you obtained you must have gathered some more of these points let's have a look in winter that is in the cold weather food stuffs keep longer as i mentioned earlier so if they are kept in a refrigerator or kept cold on ice they keep even longer then the grains are dried in the sun before storing onions and potatoes are kept to dry in the open air in summer and then stored in a dry place so during monsoon what is done onions are stored in the house during summer season they are first dried up in the hot sun and then they are stored in the house if we boil milk it does not get spoiled immediately okay so one way of preserving milk is boil it curries and vegetable preparations are brought to a boil to prevent them from spoiling till the next meal milk mango pulp are foods that spoil very quickly a food has to be kept away from ants cockroaches and other insects like mice rats and cats try this divide a chapati into 3 pieces put one piece in a closed box roast the second piece on a hot pan to make it crisp without charring it let it cool and put it in a box if possible put the third piece in a box and put it in the fridge observe these pieces every morning and evening for about 2 to 3 days so what do you see we see white black or greenish fibers like cotton wool growing on the piece of chapati placed in the closed box it also starts smelling whereas for several days we see no such change in the crisp piece of chapati or the one that was put in the fridge why is this so the cotton wool like fibrous growth on the chapati is a kind of fungus a fungus is a type of microorganism spores of the fungus are present in air and water the chapati in the box created favorable conditions for the growth of the fungus that is availability of food water air and warmth that is why the fungus grew on the chapati in the box next we shall learn about food and microorganisms you know that microorganisms are present all around us in the air as well as in the water usually air moisture and warmth are available where food is kept it means that it all is always possible for microorganisms to grow rapidly in our food or food stuffs 
we cannot see them but if they begin to grow our food gets spoiled such spoiled food can cause a stomach ache diarrhea that is loose motions vomiting etc the nutrition value of such food is also reduced sometimes it can even threaten life threaten life means it can cause death next let's learn about methods of food preservation so how we can preserve food in a house first method is drying when we dry food stuff the water content is lost this method is used to preserve food stuffs like papads kurdai sandwich wheat dals etc the second method is by cooling when food is placed in a refrigerator microorganisms do not get the warmth they need for growth so we can preserve food for a longer time by keeping it refrigerated next method is boiling when food stuffs are boiled the microorganisms in them get destroyed so this method also helps to preserve food for a longer time next placing in airtight cans when food stuffs are preserved in airtight containers the microorganisms are first destroyed so the first step is to destroy the microorganisms and it is ensured that water or air will not enter the food stuff it means that to preserve food stuff the microorganisms in them should be destroyed also they must be placed in conditions in which the microorganisms will not grow again so you can see how the jars are kept on the shelf in the picture and so in this way you have to store food for keeping it and using it for a longer duration next try this make a pickle this is activity you can try it with the help of an elder person at home materials required a glass jar a knife a spoon 7 to 8 lemons a quarter bowl of salt 2 teaspoons red chili powder 1 and 1/2 bowl of sugar let's have a look at the procedure clean and dry the jar cut each lemon into 8 pieces put these pieces in the jar and add salt sugar and chili powder mix the ingredients well with a dry wooden or steel spoon tie a clean piece of cloth over the mouth of the jar and keep it in the sun for 10 days stir it every day with a clean dry spoon your hands too should be clean and dry enjoy your pickle so in this way a very simple and easy recipe is told to you how you can make a lemon pickle next we shall learn about preservatives certain substances are added to jams and pickles to preserve them for a long time they are called preservatives sugar salt asafoetida that is hing mustard oil and vinegar are examples of preservatives so if we add them to our food stuff they the food stuff that is prepared can remain for a longer period of time they act as preservatives so you will see in pickle mostly we use vinegar then in other preservatives you will see jams sugar is added okay so this way in different places we use this preservatives for food to remain and to be preserved for a longer time next do you know much of the variety in the taste of our food is due to spices 
every spice has a different flavor or taste they have strong taste and flavors and are therefore used in very small quantities spices can be dried and stored for a long time they can be mixed and powdered to make many different masalas different spices are obtained from specific parts of different plants so you must have heard about masalas that your mummy uses in the kitchen yes they are made using spices of different variety so always remember when buying food in sealed bags or boxes make sure you check the expiry date printed on it sometimes it is mentioned used before so and so date so you have to be careful about it always check the expiry date especially when you're going to buy a bread slice bread or biscuits or chocolates you have to check the expiry date even for medicines so what we have learned if pickles jams papads etc are made in the right season they can be enjoyed for the whole year if air water and warmth are available microorganisms grow rapidly in food stuffs some microorganisms cause the food stuffs to get spoiled drying cooling boiling and canning food stuffs as also adding preservatives to them are the different methods of preserving food so that's all about this chapter methods of preserving food stay safe keep learning and thank you